Today's date is February 24th, 2020. The time now is approximately 15, 25 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20-017904. I am currently located in my unmarked agency vehicle in front of 4748 France Lane, apartment number three in Winter Park, Florida. Um, also in the car with me is my partner. Scott Lowen, Director of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. And your name, sir? Brian from 75. Okay. Um, so, Brian, to my understanding, you were called over here. Um, so can you just take me back to this morning and your involvement with Sarah, which is your ex-wife? Yes. Is that correct? Okay. Yes, yes. We've been divorced about <coughs> a year and a half. Okay. Um, well, I started calling her probably 10.30 or so. It's her day to pick up the kid, but it okay. uh, doesn't always happen. It's one or two days a week, maybe she gets them. Um, so um, out of the five, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So and what um, do you pick, like every other day? You're you're supposed to. Well, we're or? supposed to. She's Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and then we alternate Friday through Sunday. Is how it's supposed to. I was actually my lawyer back a couple of weeks ago was I was looking to get a change because she she can never stick to it. There's always some reason why. So it's general that I start calling her around then to find out if she's actually going to get him, even though yesterday she told me she would. So I started calling her about 10.30. Um, never got any answer until... I can tell you. <coughs> uh, so I finally got a hold of her at 12.49. Um, and did she call you or you call her? No, I, I called her. I had called her at... Um, 11.25, I did that twice, I always call twice, because generally she's asleep or whatever. And, um, then I called her two more times at 12.21, and then I called her again at 12.49, and that's when she answered. Okay. Um, freaking out, saying that George was dead, and could I please come over? So, um, I told her, you need to call the police. Mm -hmm. And, um, went and, uh... Uh, got the dog, my dog in his uh, crate and everything, um, and started heading over here. She called me again at 12.54 asking if I was going to be coming over if I would left yet. Um, and I told her I had already left. I was going to be there in a couple minutes. So I got here, uh, knocked on the door, uh, walked in the just right in the front entrance area, um, told her once again, you need to call the police. Was she on the phone with anyone when not you yet, saw her? Not okay. yet. She was shaking. She was trying to get herself something to drink because she was just like freaking out. So that's when she got on the phone and called. And I said, I'm going outside because I don't really want to be in here right now. So I came outside and I sat in my car until people showed up. And okay. It's <laughs> kind of where we've gone from there. So. Okay. So you called her about five or six times before she answered. Yeah. Which... Completely normal. Normal to you. Okay. Um, the rotation real quick. So Monday, Tuesday, she'll have them. Wednesday, Thursday, you'll have them. And then you rotate each weekend. Yeah, well, it's, like it's every other weekend? How it's supposed to work. Generally, it's one or two times, maybe a week. I, I think she had him last Tuesday was the last time he was actually over here. Um, and spent the night? Yes. Okay. It's probably another week before that. What's your son's name? Uh, Lucas. L-U-K-A-S. L-U-K. And boom. Yeah. Okay. Um, you think he stayed here last Tuesday? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was last Tuesday. Was, um, well then, okay, so you technically have him more than she does. Is, oh, yeah. Is that where you're getting Yeah, that, okay. that's, that's why I said I was going so to So even though that's how it's supposed changed. to be... You still have him. Yeah, the there, there's. It's a not a good day. George is in a bad mood, <laughs> or whatever else reason. I, I think sometimes just she wants to stay up and drink and can't really do that if she's got to wake up and take him to school the next day. Right. Any number of different reasons. So. But. Okay. How long have you known Sarah? Um. Since. Let's see here. I was probably. 23 or so when we met. Oh, wow. Something like that. 
since you were 23? Yeah. Yeah, so probably, I mean, 20 years. Probably dated for quite a while. And then um, got married, whatever it was, 12, 13 years ago, something like that. Well, I guess 12, 13 years ago before the divorce. So I guess like 14, 15 ago, something like that, maybe. Okay. Um... What can you tell me about her? Um, I, I don't, she's generally not, she, she can get a bit violent when she drinks. Um, not to this kind of extent. If right, it, I, yeah. I don't know what happened exactly. But, right. No, um, I'm just looking for you. But, you um, that, 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 that was part of it. Um, the alcohol has gotten worse and worse and worse over the years. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I divorced her. Um, I just couldn't deal with it. I mean, it got to the point where, I mean, on weekdays, she'd go out, and I guess the George person is one of the people she had met, um, because I separated at one point and went over to my parents' house to live for a few months, and I guess she met him over at the pool place or something like that, but I had come back, and we were in therapy trying to work it out, and I mean, on, on a weeknight when he's got school the next day, I've got work the next day, I mean, she was out till 3 o'clock in the morning when the bar closes, and... She'd bring people back over on the back porch. I mean, one time, some random person walked into my house and started screaming for Sarah at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning when we're trying to sleep. I, mean, yeah. I just couldn't get over it. So did you used to live here? No, no, no. no I, 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 bought, I bought her out of, out of our house. Okay, okay. I, 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 I was going to just sell it and move because I kind of mm-hmm. wanted to go back to College Park, which is where I'm from. But right. I thought it would be maybe easier for Lucas if I just bought her out and kept that house so he had a little bit of... Continuancy, kind of. Understandable. That's what I ended up doing, and then she moved right down the street here. So. And how long would you say the alcoholism has been a part of her life? Um. Well, I mean, it's always been a part of her life. Um, It seemed to have gotten worse and worse. I, I think more or less, kind of, since we had Lucas. And I think a lot of it was the fact that she kind of, I guess, maybe felt trapped or something. Okay. That, um, I mean, before that, I mean, whenever she wanted, you're outside having a drink. Oh, I'm going to go play pool. You go over across the street, you play pool for a little bit. Yeah. That, that's not happening anymore once you got a kid. Right. Um, so. How old's your son? He is nine. So, um, but I mean, she, she, she started just getting really angry when she drank a lot. Um. She said last night she fell asleep. I, there, were, there were plenty of times where she just basically passed out from drinking. So um, so she, you've, you've witnessed her pass out from drinking? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and when she passes out, is she, like, out cold? Oh, she's out. Like, how, how difficult would it be to, like, wake her? Oh, well, I mean, if, if I were to, like, shake her or something, <laughs> right. I could probably wake her up. But me making a phone call or noise probably wouldn't do it. Okay. Um, and would she be, like, in the middle of doing something and just, like, out cold? Or would she, no, like, it, go to bed yeah, and it would just be, be it, out cold? Yeah, she wouldn't, like, fall over or anything. It would be more <laughs> of a lay down and then she's just out. Right. Okay. Um, what do you know about her and George's relationship, if anything? Um, it was, it was, I mean, I think she had him arrested like five or six times for domestic violence. I mean, he's stuck a steak knife in the back of her leg one time. Okay. Um, every so single... he's been arre- so has he always been the one that gets arrested or has she ever been She arrested? was also one of the times. Okay. Um, one of the times both of them were arrested, um... Uh, but all the others have been him, but I, the very next day she's in there trying to get him bailed out. So I, right. I don't know. Basically they get drunk, they get in a fight, she gets upset, she calls the cops. I mean, granted, I mean, I saw lots of black eyes, bruises. On her? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there, there definitely was. Now, would you ever, would you see George as much as you would see him or her? I hardly or ever saw him. You hardly I, ever? I, I, honestly, I didn't like being around either one of them, right? To be honest, and him more so. So, why is that? Um, just I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it, it's my ex-wife. Um, she made me really mad with everything. Um, 
how the whole divorce went down and just, I mean, the way she acted and the way she changed and the way they both are, I mean, what it's done to Lucas and everything else, I just, I, he's, he's, not, he's nobody I cared to see. Let me, let me put it right. that way. I mean, it's not like I really went out of my way to, like, I, it's just not. When you guys do drop-offs or anything, is it always through the school, or would you like have to come here and see them, or, or no? No, it's it's you pretty much always during the school. Sometimes, cool. okay. so, now sometimes she would come over or something like that. Um, sometimes he would be driving, but I mean he would just stay in the car. Or she would come in, so I mean I w- really wouldn't see him. So it's not like you have like conversations with no. George. Okay. Um, no, I mean there. I mean maybe a few times when they've drunkenly called me at night because. She was telling me she needed to escape because whatever's going on, or she's put him on the phone. But I don't know. When's like the last incident that you recall of there being like a domestic dispute between her and George? Um, I mean, she told me like a week ago she had to escape from the house and wanted me to come pick her up. I told her I wasn't going to because I, I'm I'm just tired of it happening. Yeah, right. I mean, it was midnight. I mean child's trying to sleep and just right. honestly I don't always believe her when she said these things were going on and I she mean, called you yeah okay. yeah and I mean apparently she went back inside and slept well was in a fine mood the next day I guess didn't really remember calling me so I don't know if it was, was it just if it was just a she wanted to come over to I don't know she keeps on trying to come over to like hang out or something like that or um She'll come over to spend time with Lucas rather than actually just having him over here like he, she's supposed to. But she wants to come over there and play with him. And so um, I'm not sure how real that was. Um, last time I know there was an actual physical con- confrontation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably been a little while because this last time uh, George got arrested, I know he, he was on free trial, whatever, something. I don't know. He had a parole officer. He had a domestic violence class. He's like... So that's the last time... The, the Basically, the last time he was arrested was the last physical altercation that you recall? I think so. Okay. I, I don't know for sure, but I think so. And you have any idea what year or month that may have been? Um... Back a few months, maybe? A few months ago? Yeah, something like that, maybe. I don't think it was incredibly long. Okay. Like around the holidays of last year, before the holidays? Um, I think it was probably before the holidays. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Because oddly enough, it was there was like a three-week period where she actually had Lucas all the time she was supposed to because he was in jail for a month or something like that. Okay. Because they wouldn't let him out. <laughs> yeah. And you said when she drinks that she can get physically aggressive. She can. I what? mean, she she did it to me a lot, where she'd hit me and stuff like that. I mean, she she's tiny. I yeah. Mean, she. Would she, what do you mean hit though? Like open hand, smack you, or like trying to punch she would, you? Yeah, she'd punch me. I mean, more arms. She she many many times would use her claws. I mean, I I, I scratches on my neck at times, on my arms. I mean, things like that where she'd dig with her claws. Okay. Um, I. I I never got that drunk, and I had restraint. I never touched her back. I right. think George didn't have that restraint, and at okay, times so. he would hurt her back. So I mean, for, all, for all I know, all the times he got arrested, she started it. I don't know. I wasn't there, so. Mm-hmm. But I know she could get violent at times. Okay. And but he, I mean, it. it I don't know. It, it, it wasn't anything too. I don't know. Too much. I mean, just. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't feel like she was a huge threat, I'm no, assuming, no, right? No. Yeah, like you could handle yourself. Yes. Um, does she drink daily? I think pretty much. Okay. And do you know like her drink of choice? Uh, that would be vodka. Vodka. Or wine, but okay. vodka is the big one. And does she or George have a job? No. Okay. Um, she hasn't worked for over two years. Um, well, I guess you could maybe call when he's got a job. He he worked at the Ace Hardware up across the street here. Okay. Um, which is now going out of business. Okay. Um, he, he kind of off and on worked there. When he did work, it was 
15, 20 hours a week, something like that. I mean, my alimony and stuff basically pays for where they live. So, gotcha. I mean, they, they didn't need a ton, but, I mean, she, she was always calling to borrow money. And, uh, but, it, yeah, it's been like two years since she got a job. She keeps on telling me she's looking. She's always finding the good opportunities and everything, but... Do you want to take it? It's my dad. Just one sure. second. Yeah. Over. Hey. <laughs> well, just wait. I, I'm talking with the detectives right now, and I, I should be I should be heading out it's here soon. Okay. So I can come get him, okay? Is John out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is he awake? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Okay, well, I, I should be up there very soon. Okay, bye. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We were just on the phone with someone. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, did When you came over here, I know you said that she called you freaking out, saying he was dead. Did she give you any more? Like, did you ask why or she, how? She, or? She, she told me that... Um, they were playing last night or something, and he got in the suitcase, and she fell asleep. Okay. That's all she told me, so I don't know anything beyond that. Okay. Um. And I really didn't talk to her much, because I came inside, I told her, you need to call the police, and then I came back out, and I think she went on the back porch to smoke a cigarette, so I didn't even really talk with her much. <laughs> oh, like she was going outside to, did you see her take a cigarette? And yeah, she was going outside with a, well, I also know when the cops showed up, she kept on telling them she had a cigarette burning out there and she needed to go put it out. Okay. But they were keeping her away from stuff, I guess. Right. Okay. But, um, yeah, she wanted me to come back there with her. I was like, I'm going out here. I don't really want to be in here, so. Right. Um, and that's when she went to call 911? Well, she called 911 while I was in there. I was standing right in the foyer area. Okay. Um, and, I mean, it was apparently a pretty quick conversation, and that's when she started to go that way, and I just told her I'm going out front, so. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So they were playing, and she went upstairs and went to bed. I don't know After where she, she went. She, she just told me she went to sleep. Or she went to sleep. Okay. You don't know where. I don't know where. You didn't ask more questions. I right? didn't ask more questions. I leave that to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Um. <coughs> hey, I'll let you know when I'm done talking to these guys, okay? Hello? That's okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Okay, bye. Um, I'll, I'll call you when I'm leaving. <sighs> I'm trying to remember if I've been in there. I haven't even really been over here lately. Um, so it's been a long time. It's probably been at least weeks, maybe. Does Lucas play baseball or anything yet? Um, we've tried to get him into sports. He's not a big sports person, really. Um, did you ever play baseball? Um, he didn't play baseball. Um, uh, well, I mean, I had him like a t-ball set and stuff like that, and we play what, catch. Is it and, like a plastic t-ball set, or what kind of equipment did you have? Oh, no, well, this is when he was like three years old. It was a little plastic thing I had in the backyard. Did you ever buy him any baseball bats or anything? Um, I bought one for over here that Sarah said for um, Lucas and George to like play with or something. That was that was like a year ago or something maybe. What kind of bat was it? Was it a wood bat? Was yeah, it's, bat? it was a wooden bat. Um, okay. Like a, I think it was like a junior size thingy. I don't know. It's something that I looked like kind of for his height or something. I think. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, would you mind if I took a picture of your call log to show? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, that you've 
all the Do you attempts. just want to see hers or like zoomed in on hers so you can see all of those? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, so I'd say starting from today, um, I know her phone. Did you text with her at all today? Not today. I don't think I did today at all. Um, no, that was last night. She was drunkenly texting me. <laughs> last what night? Time? Yeah. What time? Um... That was 11 o'clock at night. I think that was last night. Last night was Sunday. Does it say? Oh, that's Saturday. Never Saturday. mind. Saturday. That, that was Saturday night when I was watching the baseball game. Okay. Um, yesterday was just that. When I, she said she, her account was in the negative. <laughs> so I transferred her a little bit of money to get her out of the negative. She sent you, a, oh, that was the morning. Okay. So she thanked you at 11.56 that morning. Yeah. Right. Sunday. Okay. What's the last thank you? What time? Okay. So just a few yeah, times. Yeah, and then that one at twelve oh one. Okay. So afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the calls. Do you need like? Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. Yep. I'll start from the top where it has her information. You could scroll down, and that's okay. fine. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> um, okay. Um, has Lucas ever told you anything about her, like, witnessing anything between her and George? He's, he's heard arguments and things like that. Okay. Um, He's not a big fan of staying over here, honestly. Okay. Um, just because they, 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 they get in arguments and stuff like that. I don't think they've ever um, had a physical fight in front of him. Okay. But I know there's been arguments he's told me about. Okay. Um, there's been times where I think things were starting to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And she has called me to come pick him up. Okay. And bring him back over to my house. So. She's generally um, pretty good about um, having me come get him, if, um, which leads to me not having a life because I can't ever do anything. Right. <laughs> so oh. I can't go anywhere because I'm too worried about something happening and me having to be over here quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, do you have anything else? Yeah, do you know if she's ever had any issues with drugs in the past? To my knowledge, she's never really been a drug person. She's big on alcohol, but um, I don't think she's ever done. I mean, I think she told me like one time, like back before we got divorced, that at, um, I don't know, this bar th thing over there across the street, near the Walgreens, whatever it's called. Okay. I, I've never been there. But somebody gave her a little bit of cocaine, like two years ago or something like that, but I've never known her to do drugs. What about George? Um, <clears throat> no clue whatsoever. Okay. Um, that, she's never she's complained never, to yeah. you? No, no. That's not to say these things don't happen because mm -hmm. um, I try to keep myself out of and away from that. them in general. But Right. Which vehicle is yours? Uh, the Prius right up here. In front of us? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that stand for? That is what I got sent. <laughs> oh, really? I know it, it looks like a vanity thing. No, that's just um, this last time um, they, I guess, sent me a new plate, and that's what was on it. Awesome. <laughs> so you can make that up whatever you want it to be. I could. Tell um, them it's for racing. You're going to say Yeah, that you're racing. Yes, racing in, in my Prius. Prius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you win. I'm just saying you race. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, anything else, Scott? Okay, is there anything else that you think is important for us to know that we have not asked you? Um, About either George or Sarah? I, I, I don't I don't think so. Um, when, um, I mean, you guys have been separated for, what do you say, five? We've been divorced about a year and a half. We've been, we were separated a good eight months before that or so. So, and we had been separated one other time before that, before we got back together and we're trying to do therapy, which 
didn't work at all. So, how long has she been living in this apartment? <laughs> um, ever since we got divorced. So, just a year and a half ago. Um, no. No, 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 longer than that then, um, because I took over the house. I moved in there, and she moved here, um, because I told her I was buying her out of the house, so I guess it has been longer than that. Um, I think she just said she renewed, so maybe just past two years? Okay. That may be right. So I think she said she's been here like four years. No, she's been with George. I don't know. I don't remember what she said. Yeah, she, she was, with, she was with George before we were divorced, so. Yeah. Um, and any time that, uh, that you recall when you guys were together, um, and she would be drunk, um, did she always, like, resort to getting angry? Like, is she an angry junk, or would she, like... She, her, her main problem is it, is she can't stop. Okay. I mean, she can't go out and have a glass of wine with dinner. Right. That's not a thing she can do because once she starts drinking, she will continue drinking basically until she, she out. She goes to sleep. Yeah. Would she were if she were to be drunk, would she like want to play games with you? Like, did you guys? Oh, there, like, yeah. There's a there's a really good period where she <laughs> is very good, but then she drinks past that and she gets into the angry bits. Okay. Okay. Can you just raise your right hand for me? Do you promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Yes. Okay. This ends our recording. 15:52 hours. Today's date is March 1st, 2020. The time now is approximately 16:41 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20-017904. I am on the phone with, can you state your name, sir? Brian Boone. And um, I have a couple follow-up questions that I wanted to ask Brian Boone um, in reference to this case. Um, Brian, just give me your date of birth for me. Fine. Okay. And do you promise and swear everything we're going to talk about is going to be true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Okay. So we had a conversation um about the incident and your involvement a few days ago, earlier this week, I believe on Tuesday. And after looking through Sarah's call logs, I noticed that she called you um, on February 23rd, which would be um, the Sunday night at around 23.46 hours, which in, that's military time, but in normal time, that's 11.46 hours. Do you yes. recall that phone call? I, I, I do, well, somewhat. I, I was asleep when she called. Um, uh, so she woke me up. I was half asleep when I was talking to her. Um, she did sound very inebriated. Okay. Um, I, I don't remember what all she said. I'm kind of used to her calling drunk late at night and things like that. So it, it didn't phase me as anything out of the ordinary. I basically just kind of got her off the phone and told her I'm going back to sleep and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Um, you said that she sounded inebriated like she was drunk? Yeah. I mean, it, she didn't sound like... I don't... <laughs> It's hard. I was half asleep at the time. Um, I don't think I remember hearing anything bad in the background or anything that would, would have caused me concern, but I don't really remember it that well. Okay. But she was under the influence of alcohol based off of your knowledge of just knowing her and knowing when and when, and when she's not under the influence. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I heard her start talking, I, I almost kind of just zoned out away from it because she says all kinds of nonsense when she does this late at night and just I was trying to get her off the phone so I could go back and say yes I'm sorry I'm on the phone right now you need to get yourself right off get yourself right off your pajamas are right here okay hold on buddy I'm sorry it's I'm sorry okay. go ahead it's okay um, what? oh go ahead <laughs> sorry go ahead <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So, do you remember her saying anything specifically about George? Um, I don't think so. I don't really remember. I, I, I really don't remember much.
to the conversation, honestly. Okay. I appreciate it. Um, okay. And the phone conversation lasted for a little over two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, may have been, yeah. Okay. Um, and you said that it's kind of normal for her to call you, um, late at night or just kind of whenever she's under the influence and she's kind of just yeah. babbling on and you have to try and get her off the phone. Yeah. If you don't yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing that happens. Okay. Um, okay. So you can't remember anything specific about what she may or may not have said, but she did sound inebriated. Does that sound correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you couldn't hear anything in the background. Um, I'm not fit. As far as like arguing or yelling or anything like that, you couldn't hear any of that? I don't think so. Okay. Do you know, do you know where she was located? Did she ever say? Um, I I was assuming she was at home. Okay. But she didn't say. I mean, she, she didn't have a lot of money. She didn't really go out anywhere. So I assumed she was at home. Okay. But you wouldn't know where in the house she may have been. No. Okay, she didn't give you that information. Okay. Not, not that I remember. It, I, it, it's possible she said something. I don't really remember, though. Okay. Um, all right, is there anything else that you think is important for me to know about that phone conversation? Um, I don't think so. Does that typically... Do you guys talk often? Like, in a day's um, time? Like, do you guys uh, talk daily? <sighs> More than I would like. Um, <laughs> normally, um, anytime I'm calling her, it's to find out if she's actually going to be picking the child up like she's supposed to. Right. Um, uh, like that next morning with me constantly calling. Um, right. She'll call to talk to Lucas or sometimes when she's drunk or she needs me, she wants me to come pick her up because she's scared of George or, I mean, any number of different things. Okay, you're kind of like her call person, like she... Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's call. gotten very old over the last couple of years, so I, I've started to just kind of ignore what she's saying and just try to get her gone as soon as possible. Right. Because, I mean, honestly, for a long time, I tried to help her out, give her refuge, get away from him, and she just kept bringing him back, and I eventually just gave up on the situation, so... Right. Okay. All right, do you promise and swear everything that we have talked about has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Okay, this ends the recording at 1647 hours.